I was born in the year of our Lord, 1909. My childhood was a bit different than others. See, the thing about me is I was made for a purpose. That purpose was to bring a moment to life, to capture it forever. By 1924, I'd become the master of my own universe. By that point, I'd traveled the entire world, seeing the deepest, darkest parts of this world, and showing that world to the world that could never get there themselves. It's an amazing thing to showcase something. As the 1930s and 40s hit, it was me who brought the war to your front door. It was me who gave you movie stars and rock gods. I brought you the world, and I handed it to you on a silver platter, and I shown it to you in a way that you could never see it. After 80 years of excellent service, and never once, never once, letting you down, a man by the name of Steve Sasson made something that would end up being my ultimate demise. <laughs> I, at the time, had no idea. They say when you're on top, there's only one way to go. Well, that's the problem. When you're on top, you don't give a shit. You think it will never end till all suddenly it comes around and changes everything forever. See, as great as I am, I, I do cost a lot of money. And I, I am difficult to work with. But. Once they started making it so easy for any schmuck with 2,568 bucks to create incredible images, I, I started to fall by the wayside. I lay here in my hospice bed, dying a little, day by day. There was a time when I was invited to all the parties. Not a single happening could go down without me. Now it's just a few diehards and only the coolest of indie chic hipsters who break me out just to be cool. And that very small percent of few people who still know my greatness. I was once the talk of the world. Now I'm a cancer patient waiting for my last cup of pudding before the end takes me away to that place beyond this place. My hope, my hope is never to be forgotten. To remember, without me, you couldn't have the things you have today. But I fear that I'll be put out to pasture on some shelf somewhere. And mentioned once every 50 years about that, that, uh, that, that, that thing they used to use. My challenge to all the youth out there, try me. See if you can do what you do with me. Instead of your microwave cameras you use today. Why don't you try to pull your own focus? Why don't you try to light your own shot without having a computer do it for you? In the end, I'm just a, a, a bitter old man who's seen his final glory days. It's over for me. Pull the plug. Kill the life support. I don't want to be that old guy who just hung around long after he was wanted. I, 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 I know my place. And I would just like to bow out gracefully. Because to put it simply, ladies and gentlemen, I am done. And I, I'm, I'm too tired like this. I, I, I'm too good. I'm, I'm too old and I'm too fucking tired. I, I am Kodak. I am Fuji. I am Marilyn. I am Audrey. I am classic. I am chic. I am one of a kind. I am film. And there's simply no substitute for me. And there never will be. And I am done. Love always. 35 millimeter film. <laughs>